All right, hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Marie Thomas, where we have tonight's matchup, the Frontier Red Ox versus the East Hampton Eagles. And here comes the pitch. On the, on the mound for the Frontier Red Ox is Aiden Heffernan. Behind home plate is Keaton James, so. One and L count. Here comes the pitch. That will be outside for ball number two, 2-0 two count. Here comes the pitch. That's in there for strike number one. Good job by Heffernan. 2-1, get hitters count. And Heffernan delivers. That'll be low and inside for ball number three, three one count. Heffernan delivers, and that'll be ball four, blown away, and he'll take his base. So five pitches, and that'll be a walk for the East Campton Eagles. Dustin will keep a, keep him an eye on him at first base. The batter will be Chris Gallagher, the right fielder for the East Hampton Eagles. And Heffernan delivers, and that'll be in there for a strike. Oh, one one count, good job by Heffernan getting ahead of the batter. Here comes the pitch. That will be away for ball number one, one and one. Runner on second base. That will be ball number two, two and one is the count. For Gallagher, he looks to get a hit here. Runner in scoring position now. Heffernan delivers. That will be high for a ball number three. Here comes the pitch. Three two full count, I believe. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three for Aiden Heffernan, and that will be out number one for the Frontier Red Ox. All right, can you get the batter? So, one gone here, and that will bring up Anthony and Campo, number 27, the third baseman for the East Hampton Eagles. Inside for ball number one. One and L count. Still runner in scoring position at second base. Here comes the pitch. In there for a strike. One and one now. Teams it up. See what? Swing down the third baseline. Throws it out to first, and that'll be out number two. So Encampo will move the runner. But that'll make two outs. Nice play there. And uh, I'll bring up number 16 for the East Hampton Eagles. Uh, Topher Reardon, first baseman. Heffernan delivers. That will be in there for a strike. 0 oh, 1 count. Heffernan checks on the runner. He'll pitch. 
Did he go? No, he did not. He was up the count one and one. Still a runner in scoring position with two outs here. Efrenin delivers. That'll be in there for a strike. One and two, good pitch from Heffernan. One and two count. Comes the payoff pitch. And high for a ball, so that'll even up two and two. See if Topher Reardon can get a hit here. Hard hit, fly ball to left field. And Wyatt Eath will make the catch, and that will end the top of the first inning. And here we go. We'll go into the bottom of the first. Where the batter will be Nico Ferg. Nope, it's going to be Nico Fasulo. He's the batter. Number one. Fasulo is in center field for the Red Ox. Braden, got to get over. Oh, one count as he tried to bunt on the first pitch there. Here comes the pitch. Grounder. Down the short, over to short, second base. And they'll make the play for round number one. So, two pitches and one out there. And, uh, yeah, nice play by the second baseman for the East Hampton Eagles. And that will bring up Jack Conlon, the second baseman for the Red Hawks. And here comes the pitch. Foul and out of play. So he's on top of the ball. 0-1 count. See if Jack Conlon can get things rolling here for the Hawks early. Here comes the pitch. Uh, line drive. So he'll go up the middle. And he'll get on base for the Red Hawks here in the first inning. Good job by Jack Conlon. Reaching first. Gets the first hit for Frontier. And that'll be one guy. And on the net first. The battle will be Roscoe Palmer, the shortstop for the Red Hawks. One of the seniors as well. I'll be in there for a strike, a little low, but Conlon will take out the second and get a stolen base. I didn't see it. All right, thank you. Yep, did you mention it? Something's going on between the umpires and the coach. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I got to know. Not sure what's going on, but back to the game anyways. Second coming in. Oh, one count. Here comes the pitch. Popped up. And now to play into the woods. That ball is gone forever. The woods definitely eats up a lot of baseballs here at the Frontier Baseball Field. Be nice if they were able to clear it out. In, you can see him. But wonder how many baseballs they'd find. Here's the pitch. Palmer. It's it. Shortstop will feel it. Throws it over first and will hit the camera. So out of play. Hit the, hit the camera leg. And Roscoe Palmer will have an RBI single, which I believe. And he'll uh, go over to second base with the overthrow out of play. So Frontier will take the lead one to nothing here in the bottom of the first hey, inning. And that will bring up number 15, Y. Eads, left fielder for the Red Hawks. Palmer's now at sec on second base. Swing and a miss. He's a little low. Eads there. And 
Pitcher checks on the runner. He'll deliver. That'll be low for a ball. And Jack Conlon takes off the third. Or sorry, Palmer takes off the third. Still check the runner. So runners on third base. And then I could score a run here. Still just one out. That'll be low for a ball. Two and one count. And here comes the pitch. I'll be in the dirt for ball number three. Three and one. See if Eads can get on base here and score in that last run. And here comes the pitch. Foul, and that will make it. Uh, there are three, two, full count, or two and two. Frontier still with the one nothing lead and looking to score another one here in the bottom of the first. And here comes the pitch. Wright gets a hold of it. Fly ball. Center field will make the catch. And an RBI sack fly for Wright. Frontier 2 nothing. On top of the East Anthem Eagles. Hey, let's get seven with two here, Greg. Come on. Good job by Eads doing his job there. The sack fly, center field. And that'll bring up, that'll be two outs. Here comes the pitch. And inside for ball number one. One and oh. Batter's number nine. Here comes the pitch. That'll be in there for a strike. Ends it up one and one now. Here comes the pitch. Batter's grace and loose, by the way. Now I'll be behind him two and one. Luce will wait for his pitch here. And here comes the pitch. He gets a hold of it. Fly ball. Drop in. He'll take off the second. And a double for Grayson Luce. They're in the bottom of the first inning. He had fun with two. That will bring up number 10, Tyler Cusson. With another runner in scoring position. We'll see if the Frontier Red Ox can get that one in as well. Here comes the pitch. And that will be low and away for ball number one. Tyler's at first base today. I believe he's one of the seniors for the Red Ox. Could be wrong with that, but Shortstop. here comes the pitch, and that'll be low for ball number two, two on count. Here comes the pitch. Nice contact, but it will go foul. So two and one count for Tyler Cussin now. Good contact. Hopefully he can straighten that out and put that one in play. Two and one count. Two outs. Runner on second base. Here comes the pitch. Tyler fouls that one off. Really trying to get a hold of it here. It's a little on top of the ball. Hey, Cuss, come on. Or under it, excuse me. Just kind of hits, glazes the top of the bat there. Two and two. Train's going by. 
Nice off speed. Strike number three. Nice curve there. And that'll be the end of the first inning. Brent's here on top. Two to nothing over the East Hampton Eagles. We'll go to the top of the second inning right here. All right, here we are. Eden Heffernan still on the mound for the Red Hawks, and the batter will be Bailey Davis, the left fielder for the Eagles. Swing to miss, strike one, 0 oh, 1. Heffernan did an excellent job in the first inning, only gave up one hit. And actually gave up a walk, not a hit. 0 oh, 2 count, that one's in there for a strike. Efrenin delivers. That'll be a ball there. One and two count for Bailey Davis. Here comes the pitch. Strike three called looking. All right, so the batter will be number 11. Ethan uh, Mullally, the pitcher for the East Anthony Eagles. Afternoon did a good job in the first inning. And that will be high and outside for ball number one. One and no count. Here comes the pitch. Nice hit. Third base will field it, throws over to Cussin for out number one. Good defense by the Red Hawks. And the third baseman making the play there. So Frontier now has two outs here in the top of the second inning. And the batter will be uh, number one, Jake Kostick, the shortstop for the Eagles. And that'll be in there for strike. Number one, good job by Heffernan. And Heffernan, and the windup delivers. And that'll be low and outside for ball number one. One and one. Here comes the pitch. That one's fouled back, one and two. Here comes the pitch from Evernon. And fouled. Good job staying alive there. Good job by Jake. Mullally. Evernon. Here comes the pitch. I for ball two, two and two. Still has one more pitch to give. Um, but we'll see what happens here. Again, top of the second inning. Frontier still with a two nothing lead. East Hampton looking to get on. And that will be ball number three. Three two full count. So Malali looks to get on here. That will be ball four. He'll take his base. Good job by Jake laying off the pitch there. And he'll reach first base with two outs. Good job by him. And Tyler Cusson will hold him on the bag so he doesn't have an easy stolen base. So the batter will be Braden O'Connor. And James will throw it down to second. Not in time, it gets away from Palmer there. Kind of a wild throw down to second base, but Malali will have a nice standing up steal. And he's now in scoring position, so. One and no count. For Braden O'Connor. Here comes the pitch. I'll be in there for a strike. Nice pitch from Heffernan. One and one now. And 
Efren delivers. That'll be in the dirt for ball number two. One thing to notice is uh, pitchers occasionally it will get to them when the runner's on second base or third, even first, because it, it will distract them. So they'll check on the runner, but then they'll pitch. And just like that, you saw there, James will throw it down to second, but you know it takes away a little bit from the game. You just have to kind of block out that runner, especially with two outs here. 3-1. Definitely from Heffernan, you want to focus on the batter. Still checking on the runner, though. And that'll be ball four. He'll take his base. Two walks, and that'll put a runner on first and second. Job by Jake O'Connor. And, uh, or, yep. So two outs. Here comes the pitch from Heffernan. That'll be a good eye. Ball one. Batter's number six. See if he can get on here. And that'll be a another, that'll be a 2-0 count. Here comes the pitch. That's in there for a strike. Batter's name is Tommy. Here comes the pitch. Foul out of play. Tom is a good name. I will say that if I do say so myself. <laughs> two and two count. Efrenin delivers. Low for ball number three. So he did have a pitch to give there. That'll make a three two. Full count, two outs. The runner should be taken off. It'll be. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Heffernan gets out of the inning. No damage done. And we'll go to the bottom of the second inning here. Where the batter is Brady Pareda, the right fielder for the Red Ox. One and a, oh, one count. Here comes the pitch. He gets a crack out of it. And that will get into center field. So, base hit there for Brady Pareda. He gets on. Frontier looks to get that on their lead pretty early on in the bottom of the second. And the... the Batter will be Austin Pierso, the designated hitter for the Red Hawks. He'll check on him, throw over first, and in a pickle is Brady Pareda. We'll see if he can get out of it. He'll get back to first in time, so he's got to be careful. He got lucky. And Coach Williams told him <laughs> he's got to be careful. So, one and no count. Again, the batter's Austin D'Urso. Here comes the pitch. I'll be in there striking. Pareda takes off the second. And he'll be safe. So, good wheels on the base. On the bases for Pareda. Evens up the count one and one. See if Austin can get that run in here. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. No outs here in the bottom of the second inning. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Here so strikes out. And I'll bring up number 18, Aiden Heffernan, pitcher for the Red Hawks here tonight. And it's the mono a mono pitcher versus pitcher. And 
He'll check on the runner. Rita is safe at second base. Here comes the pitch. He gets a hold of it in the left field. And that'll be a base hit. So good job by Aiden Heffernan. Moves the runner. It's just one out here. Runners on first and third. As that'll move Pareto over to third base and that'll bring up. Top of the order, number one, Nico Fasulo. Center fielder for the Red Ox, one of the seniors. And here comes the pitch. Fasulo dancing around the ball there, and it, apparently it hit him, so. <laughs> He's not happy with that. And uh, he thought he got out of the way, but he will um, take his base, and that will load the bases for number four, Jack Common. So now we got the bases. Just over. one out here. Tension's high. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, hit it hard again, Jack. Hey, ground the wheel. Ground the wheel. We'll see what happens here. The catcher went out to talk to the pitcher real quick. Hopefully the Eagles, they look to get out of this with no damage done. So they need to get two outs here. But Frontier knocking on the doors. Here comes the pitch. Conlon on top of it. At second base for the Red Ox today. One count. Here comes the pitch. Curveball inside, and that will hit him. So, two back to back hit by pitches, and Frontier will score a run there. So, base is still loaded, one out. Frontier takes a three to nothing lead in the bottom of the second inning. And that will bring up a big bat for the Frontier Red Ox. Rockwell Palmer, the shortstop for the Hawks. I'll be in the dirt. Get stopped by the catcher. Palmer actually last year played in the Western Mass Finals against Frontier. And Frontier ended up winning that game. So it's nice to see him. That was almost a bun, running bun. The throw, please. Go home and make the play. So swing bun, unfortunate. But the Eagles make the play at home, and half of them will be out. So that will be two outs. And that will bring up number uh, 15, Wyatt Eads. And he's in the cleanup spot tonight. He's one of Frontier's good players. I believe he's a senior as well. Been on the team for a couple of years now. A one count for Eads. Bases loaded, two outs. See if he can get things rolling here and score another run. I'll be in the dirt. 2 0 count. The other thing, too, is you know, all it takes is a walk and Frontier will score another run here, so. Here comes the pitch in the dirt, ball three, so like I just said, a walk could score a run. Rio count. This has got to be absolutely perfect. I don't think Coach Williams will give him the green light here. And yet that will be ball four, so Eads will take his base and Frontier will take a four to nothing lead here in the bottom of the second inning. And that'll bring up number nine, Brady Pareda. Nice 
Pareda stole bases last at bat. Two outs here, bases still loaded. Uh, the batter's actually going to be Grayson Blues. One and no count. Here comes the pitch. That's in there for a strike. Evens it up one and one now. Blues is a lefty for the Red Ox. Here comes the pitch. He gets a hold of it. Left field. And two runs will score. For the Red Ox, they'll take a six to nothing lead. Good job by Grayson Lewis with an RBI single. Two outs, and he does his job there. Here on top, six to nothing. The battle will be number 10, Tyler Cusson. He's over at first base here tonight. He's also one of Frontier's uh, pitchers. So he pitched very well the last game we did end up covering. Here comes the pitch. Now be in there for a strike. Two now. Still two outs, runners on second and third. Here comes the pitch. I'll be high for a ball. Evens up the count. One and one now. Here comes the pitch. That's in there for a strike. One and two. So Coven Cousins got a Swing at anything close and protect the plate now. See what he does here. Here comes a pitch. Grounder down the third base line will go foul. Nice contact. He's just got to straighten that out now. Still one two count. Let's go. See if Cussing can get some RBIs here. Get on base. Have fun with two. Here comes the pitch. Foul off. Good job by him staying alive. Very lucky there. He just got a piece of it. He had a big smile on his face, too, so. Get the bat on the ball. Barrel up. Coach giving him some words of encouragement. Coach Williams over at third. And that will be ball two. Evens it up now, two and two. Good eye by Cousin. I'm laying off that one. All right, two and two. Payoff pitch. In the dirt. And runners will take off. And that will make it, Wyatt Eads will score. That will make it 7 to nothing here in the bottom of the second inning. So now just one more run needs to come in from the bases, and the base will be empty. It is number, uh, it is full count now, 3-2 full count. Grounder down the third baseline. Cousin will take out the first. And they'll throw it up. Throw it over for out number three. But Frontier gets damage done. Score is now. Can you hear me? Hello? Seven to nothing. Look at your phone. And the batter will be Jason Sigda, the center fielder for the East Hampton Eagles. Here on the top of the third inning. And hard hit ball to third base, but it will go foul. A one count. Or big duh. Effernan from the windup. That'll be 
outside for ball number one, or ball two, excuse me, two and one. Here comes the pitch. And that will be high for ball two, uh, three. Three two, full, three two, or three one, excuse me. That's what I meant to say. Here comes the pitch. Grounder down the third baseline. Roscoe will field it. And that will actually get through, so. Base it for a big dub there. He'll get on with no outs. Afternoon will have to shake that one off. And the batter will be number seven, Chris Gallagher, top of the order. Well, that just was top of the order, so. Here comes the pitch. In run. Gallagher will take off the first. And they'll make the catch. Nice job by Wiley making that play. And that'll be one out here in the top of the third inning. And actually, it was Roscoe Palmer that made the catch. And that'll bring up Anthony and Campo. The third baseman, number 27 for the East Hampton Eagles. Here comes the pitch. That'll be called strike. So 0 1 count. Here comes the pitch. And I actually see myself running past the first base. First base dugout. <laughs> and that'll be high. Ball number two. And a stolen base there. So one out here. Oh, is there no runner on second base? And foul tip, two and one. Sure, why not? Yeah. Hi, Marie. Yeah, I'll make sense. Maybe I can like, redo the first three innings or something. I need my laptop. So, Heffernan to deliver. And that'll be a wild pick. I can't. And it'll I take out the that. third. We'll just have to line it Ames up. won't throw it down, so. Three and one. Now, runners on runner on third base. I can't see it. I can't see it when he does it. Okay. Here comes the pitch, and I'll be ball four. Low. Heffernan will walk him. The runners on first and third, and that will bring up number 16. I think it's Topher Reardon. Yep, Topher Reardon, Reardon the first baseman for the Eagles. Grounder, fielded, and Alvin RBI for Topher Reardon. Runners on first and second. Just one out here. And the batter will be Bailey Davis, the number three, the left fielder for the Eagles. Oh, one count. Heffernan delivers. And the dirt gets past and runners will take out the second and third. And I have a standing up stone base, so. Yeah, I feel like 
one of the toughest positions is definitely uh, being a catcher. That was the only position I don't I don't believe I tried in baseball. So here comes the pitch. Grounder back to the pitcher. Heffernan will check on the runner. They'll make the play at one, and Cussin will run it back to Heffernan. So quick out there. Two outs. Here in the top of the third inning, and that will bring up Ethan Mullaly, the pitcher for the Eagles. Two outs. Here comes the pitch. High for ball one. One and out count. Afternoon to pitch. That'll be in there for a strike. Evens it up, one and one now. Here comes the pitch. And that will be high for ball two, two and one. Good job by him leaving off of that. Good hitters count. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. So one more pitch, and Heffernan can get out of this one. Heffernan delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That will end the top of the third inning. Although, from an RBI single from Joe Ferrierden, they'll get the run there. Seven to one. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Where is the Frontier Red Ox? Still on top by six. And here comes the pitch. Grounder. Down the shortstop. Goes it over to one. And he'll make the play. That was a wide shot, so I got it. So, quick out there for Brady Pareda, I believe. I thought they were still and that will bring up number 14, Austin D'Urso, the designated hitter for the Red Ox. And here comes the pitch. Not gonna worry about oh, perfect. That's even better. Here comes the pitch. Foul back. A one. Then everyone knows who blamed for Blackwater score. That's true, I guess. That's fine. Here comes the pitch. Outside. Ball number one evens it up. One and one now. Here comes the pitch in the dirt for ball number two. That one hit the ump's hand. Two and one. Here comes the pitch. Nice contact. And that'll be a hit to right field. And just one gone here. Nice job getting on base. For uh, D'Urso there. And that will bring up number 18, who's on the mound today, Aiden Heffernan. All right, Tom Albert on the mic. Here with Ben Roberts and Marie from Frontier Communications Television. Here in the bottom of the third inning, where there is a runner at first base, which is number 14, uh, Austin De La Rosa, the designated hitter. You got on base, and up to bat right now is Aiden Hefferman. Fouls that one off. 
Again, the score is seven to one. And the count is two to one. One and two. See if Aiden can get a hit here. Here comes the pitch. Uh, steal. He's going to get down, and he'll be safe. So a nice stolen base there by number 14, uh, Austin De De Lorzo. Lorzo. And I'm assuming that was a ball, so two and two count for Aiden Hefferman. Swing and a miss, strike three. Oh, strike two. <laughs> I have my apologies. So here comes the pitch. Curveball, that's strike three. <laughs> There we go. So that will make it two outs here in the bottom of the third inning with the batter top of the first or, or top of the order. I mean, I'm uh, sorry, excuse me, is Nico Fasulo. And uh, he is in center field for the Red Ox. And they're going to intentionally walk Nico or he got hit by a pitch. So I'm he got hit by a pitch. The second time he got hit by a pitch. Uh, so the second time someone on Frontier has gotten hit by a pitch. And that will bring up Jack Comlin. Uh, he is, oh, grounder, third base. He'll field it, step on third for a nice easy out to end. The third inning. We'll go to the top of the fourth inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Oh, beautiful day. It was uh, 75 degrees out now. So, and the batter will be number one, uh, Caustic. And he'll hit a bloop single into left field. So Caustic gets things rolling. One pitch, one hit. Seven to one here in the top of the fourth. And it's number 18 on the mound for the Red Ox. Um, Aiden Heffernan. And that will bring up ni number 19, O'Connor. He's over at... Oh, nice hit up the middle. And they almost got him. And they do! So nice play by number one, uh, Nico Fasulo. Good heads up baseball play there. He, you knew usually you don't see that happen, but a boop single in the center field and Nico gets the runner at second. So one gone, still man on first. And that'll bring up number six. Grounder back to the pitcher. He'll go over to one for out number two. So two quick outs so far, but Number 19, uh, O'Connor. Oh, sorry, no, Topher Reardon is over at. Yeah. Yeah, so it is O'Connor at uh, second base. The batter will be number 10, top of the order, uh, Sigda. He's over in center field. Comes the pitch. That'll be outside for ball number one. Here comes the pitch from Heffernan. High for ball two. 2-0 two count, which typically would be a good hitter's count because you know a good pitch is coming. Here comes the pitch. And that'll be called the strike. A little low, but two and one. Still a good hitter's count, though. Again, there's Sigda batting for e the East Hampton Eagles. And that'll be outside for ball number four. 
So will Arkham. So still running on first and second, and that'll bring up number seven, uh, Gall Gallagher, and he is over in right field for the Eagles. And that'll be right down the middle, strike one. One one count, good job by Heffernan there. Comes the pitch. Fouled off into the woods. Just got to straighten that one out a little bit. That will be a ball there. Definitely a little windy today. Nice breeze. Here comes a pitch from Heffernan. Oh, that hits him in the head. Oh, man. He got domed. That'll load the bases. So, bases loading. That'll bring up number 27 uh, in Campo. He is the third baseman. Uh... A base hit could score two runs here. To the outfield. Two outs. See what he can do. Off speed. Low and away. Afternoon will deliver. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch. I'll even it up one and one. Comes the pitch. That'll be high and inside for ball number two. Two and one count. Good job by Encampo leaving off that one. And Heffernan will deliver. Swing and a miss, strike two. Evens it up again, two and two. This is a big payoff pitch here for Heffernan. Here it comes. Blue, uh, fly ball into right field, and he'll make the catch. Good job by Brady Pareda making that catch there. 7 to 1. And the batter will be Roscoe Palmer. He is over at shortstop for the Red Ox. That'll be ball one. Here comes the pitch, Cur a curveball. Roscoe pops it into shallow right field, still foul, but he'll make the catch. Nice job by number 16, uh, Reardon. And that will bring up number 15, Wyatt Eads, the left fielder for the Hawks. Fly ball, almost the same spot, but this one goes a little deeper into center field. He's racing in. He'll make the catch for out number two. Three pitches, two outs. And so two quick outs, and that'll bring up number nine, Grayson Luce. He's over at uh, second base for the Red Hawks. And he's a lefty, so here comes the pitch. And that'll be low for ball one. On the mound for the East Hampton Eagles is number 11, uh, Malay. Malay delivers low and inside for ball number two. 2-0 two count. Comes a pitch, ball three away. 3-0 three for Grayson Luce. Here comes a pitch from uh, Malay. 
And he'll walk them, ball four. So Grayson Luce gets on with two outs. And they're going to call time, and Ed Zuzkowski will, the head coach will go out. And yeah, so that will be good pitching there by number 11, uh, Malay. And it looks like number seven, um, Gallagher, Gallagher will come in to pitch for him. So he's going to warm up for his number 10, uh, Tyler Cusson. The first baseman for the Red Hawks. He's up to bat. Luce takes off the second, and they won't even throw it down, so Luce will get a steal there. Here comes the pitch. And called strike. Kind of hit the outside corner. So one and one. Again, and it is number seven, uh, Gallagher, here. That'll be inside a little high for ball number two. And we will be covering baseball on Saturday. I don't know. Here comes the pitch. Fly ball. Looks like it will go out of play. That ball's recoverable. So it didn't go into the woods, so. <laughs> Here comes the pitch. Ripped it into left field. Base hit for Tyler Cusson. Loose will take off to home and an RBI. Saints. An RBI double for Tyler Cusson. Nice job by Tyler Cusson. He got a hold of that ball. And it'll make it 8-1, to one, Red Hawks on top. So he had fun with two there. And that will bring up number five, Brady Pareda. He's over in right field for the Hawks today. Gallagher here to deliver in the dirt. Ball one. Cusson will take off the third. They'll throw it. No throw. So Cusson with the stolen base. And he's at, he's over at third base now. So a base hit will score a run. Let's see if uh, Brady Prieden can get it done here. Here comes the pitch. Foul buck and into the woods. One and one count. Gallagher looks in for the pitch. And he'll deliver. And that'll be ball one in the dirt. Or ball two, excuse me. Low went away. Gallagher looks for the sign. He'll deliver. Grounder left goes down the foul, uh, the third baseline. Foul. Evens it up though. Two and two. Here comes the pitch. Curveball. Pop up, shortstop will make the catch. So Frontier, they get an RBI single from Tyler Cusson and add on to their lead eight to one against the East Hampton yeah. Eagles at the baseball game. It is number 16, uh, Reardon. Up to bat for the East Hampton Eagles and that will be ball one away. Toe for Reardon. That'll be ball two. Two count. Here comes the pitch. 
Strike right down the middle. Good job by Heffernan. Here comes the pitch. High and inside. Almost hit him. 3-1 count for Topher Reardon. Here comes the pitch. That'll be ball four, and he'll take his base. So Topher Reardon gets on here. Draws the walk. And Aiden Heffernan will... He subbed out of the game. He did a great job, and that will bring a, that will bring in Max Skrbisky Bannock and his older brother Liam Skrbisky Bannock pitched on the team uh, last year, I believe, in his senior year. So good to see Max is on the mound too. So he's going to warm up. Whole oh, biggest F crew, cat crew we've had kind of in a while. So good to have him. And, uh, yeah. So, Topher Reardon's at first base. Bailey Davis is up to bat. And that'll be ball one there for Max Grabisky Bannock. He just took the mound for the Red Hawks. Checks on the runner there and delivers. Pop up down the first baseline, hits the tree. Out of play. Evens up the count, one and one. <laughs> Bailey Davis. Is the batter see if he can get on here? Strike two called. Good job by Max there. One and two count. So Max is ahead of the batter right now. He'll throw it over. Almost got him. So he threw it over there. Still one two count. Here's a pitch. Foul it off in out of play into the woods. Ooh. And uh that one was a little high, so Still one and two. Topher will take a bigger lead. Strike three called. Max Skrbisky Bannock strikes out that batter, and that will be out number one. That'll bring up number 11. Ethan. Mullaly. Swing and a miss. Nice off speed pitch. Again, 8 to 1 is the score. We're here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Skrbisky being checks on him. And uh, he's been checked on twice now. For Topher Reardon, is, that is. Skrbisky Bannock looks over. He'll try to pick him off again. Oh, that was close. Well, too close to comfort. <laughs> the bench making some noise now. East Hampton's bench, that is. Chris Granick will deliver. Swing and a mess. Strike number two. Oh, two count now. Skrbisky Bannock checks on the runner. He'll deliver. And that will be in the dirt. Topher Reardon will take out the second and have a nice standing up stolen base. That one just got away from Caden uh, James, but one and two count. Skrbisky Bannock will deliver. Grounder over to second base. I'll throw it over to one, and that will be out number two. Good job by Topher Reardon. Not taking off. So, hey, the Red Hawks got two. 
Two outs. And the batter will be number one, Jake Costick. <laughs> and that one's popped up to the shortstop for out number three. So Frontier still on top, 8-1. to one. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll uh, right Austin DeLor DeLorzo, the designated hitter. DeUrzo. DeUrzo, DeUrzo, excuse me. Sorry about that. My apologies. All right. So here comes a pitch from Gallagher. Grounder to shortstop. He'll field it, throws it over to first, and off the bag. <laughs> so good job by number 14, Austin D'Urso. Urso. D'Urso. And that will bring up number 22, M Max Grabisky Bannock. He's also a lefty. He came in for uh, someone. So Austin D'Urso on first base. Max Grabisky Bannock, the batter. That'll be outside for ball number one. Ball number two, excuse me. And Dierso takes off the second, no throw. Standing up steal for uh, Austin Dierso. Three zero count for Max Krabisky Bannock. Here comes the pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. Three and one count. He gets a hold of it. Pop up into left field. Deep left field. That one drops. Hits the school. <laughs> Still eight to one. Three, two, full count, I believe. Here comes the pitch from Gallagher. Swing and miss. Foul back. That one could hit a car. Oh. <laughs> That at the back of a truck. <laughs> it hit the the truck bed. Or the hood. So Skrbisky Bank fouls that one off. That's why we park our cars out of the way. Grounder over to first base. Let's see if he can field it. Throws it over to one for out number one. But Skrbisky Manic moves number 14, uh, dear so. Over to third base in scoring position now. So he did his job. And that will bring up number one, top of the order, Nico Fasulo, one of the frontier seniors on the baseball team. And he's in, in center field for the Red Hawks. Here comes the pitch from Gallagher. Inside, almost hit him. <laughs> By the skin of his teeth, it didn't. <laughs> bench. <laughs> Some interesting sayings coming from the bench, but here it comes, and grounder goes foul. Almost like a bunt. One and one count. And Dierso is on third with no one covering the bag. So base hit will score a run here. Curve ball inside. Almost hit Nico again. So two and one good hitters count. 
See if Nico can find the one he wants, put it in play. Gets a hit over to third base, he'll field it, throws it over to one, but an RBI single for, or an RBI hit, I should say, for Nico Facillo. So he got his job done, gets the runner in, and Frontier will take the lead, nine to one. And that will bring up number four, Jack Common. He's over at third base for the Red Ox tonight. And here comes the pitch. And that will be in the dirt for ball one. Gets behind the catcher. One thing I will say is East Hampton does look like a young, bit of a younger team than they used to. Um, Curveball. He gets a hold of that one. Center field back. And that will be out number three. For the East Hampton Eagles. So nice contact swing though. I don't I'm not sure quite what's going on here, but the umpire's telling Frontier's bench something. So anyways, we're gonna play ball here. So number nine, um you Patel will be the batter. He's pinch hitting um, for O'Connor. Swing and a miss. He's pinch hitting for Braden uh, O'Connor. If he gets on, it'll bring up number 20, uh, Big Spot, Bixby, the catcher for the East Hampton Eagles. One and one count. Skrbisky Bannock will deliver. High for ball two. <laughs> he stands the bench making some noise now. It is nine to one, so they really need to get things going here in the bot uh in this top of the sixth inning. Three one count. Skrubisky Bannock delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Three two. Full count. Frontiers having some uh, good seasons on and the other sports, but baseball they're having a really good season as well. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So Yuga Patel strikes out there. Now we'll bring up number six, another pinch hitter. Which I do not have on my roster actually. So, but I got his name, it's Tommy. So. Tommy Bixby, excuse me. So he's, I don't know why. Oh, one count. Skrbisky Bannock will deliver. Ooh, I think just outside for ball number one. It's definitely a little hard from this angle to call the pitches, whether they're inside or outside. Here comes the pitch. That one will be inside, though, because he <laughs> got out of the way. So 2-1 count now for Tommy Bixby. He's the catcher for the Eagles. And he has the same name as me. Swing and miss. Strike two. That'll even it up. Two and two. Here comes the pitch. High for ball three. Off speed. Didn't work out there, but he had a pitch to waste. So three, two, full. Poor Tommy Bixby. Skrbisky Bannock will deliver. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Back to back strikeouts for Skrbisky Bannock. Getting the job done himself. 
That'll bring up number 10. Jason Sig Sigda. Top of the order. Skrbisky Bannock delivers in the dirt. Ball number one. Good stop by Caden James, though. Here comes the pitch. Swing and miss, fouled back. One and one. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike number two. Here comes the pitch. Oh, hits him, off speed hits him. <laughs> Lucky it wasn't a fastball though. So he almost had an out, but that'll be a walk. Hit that pitch. It looks like Owen Babb took over for Tyler Cusson at first base, so. And he'll check on him. He'll be safe over there. Number seven, Chris Gallagher will be the batter. Comes the pitch. Called strike. Own one. Max will check on him at first. He'll deliver. Pop up. That will be in. Play. Caden James will make the catch for out number two. Oh, three. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. They're Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Roscoe Palmer's the batter over to third base. And out number one, one pitch, one out. That'll be really quick. So that'll bring up number four or uh, number 15, Wyatt Eads. Oh, nope, it'll be number three. Pinch hitting is Gabe Soloski for uh, White Eats. So some of Frontier's youngest players get a chance to bat here as Frontier has an eight-point uh, eight lead over the Eagles. Scores nine to one. That'll be ball number one. Comes the pitch. The dirt hit the grass, too, so... See if Gabe Slosky will get a hit here. Grounder. Two and one and two count, excuse me. And Chris Gallagher will deliver. Ooh, nice off speed there, and it'll be ball number two. Evens it up, two and two. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, fouls that one back. Good job by him, staying alive. Still looking for a hit here. Here comes the pitch. Fly ball, left field. See if he can make the catch here. Back, oh, nice one. That was a nice catch there by uh, number uh, three, Bailey Davis. Over in the, out in left field, and that'll bring up number 16, another pinch hitter, Porter Hall. And here comes the pitch. 
He fouls that one, and we'll see if that one hits a car. Not quite. 0-1 count. He's another lefty for the Red Hawks. So Frontier has a bit of a, a couple lefties on the team. That one's high and outside for ball number one. One and one now. See if Porter Hall can get on here with one out. Off speed. One and two count. Nice pitch, though. Here comes the pitch. Outside for ball two. That evens it up. Two and two. That was a really good off speed. I just want to go back to that for a second. Here comes Gallagher. In the dirt. Ooh. It's like the umps all right. He got it, it hit off the ca bounced, hit off the catcher, and hit the ump face mask. So good thing everyone's protected back there. Good job by Porter Hall fouling that one off. Fouling that one off. Excuse me. Three, two, full count. Off speed, strike three called. And that will end the inning. So we'll go to the top of the seventh inning where the Frontier Red Hawks are up nine to one against the East Hampton Eagles on site at the Frontier Baseball Field where the batter is number 27. Uh, Anthony and Campo. Frontier just needs three more outs, and uh, that will do it. So, good game for the Frontier Red Hawks. Here comes the pitch. Strike one. Good start for Skrubiskibanek now. A one count grounder down the third baseline and it'll be foul. O oh, two count. So he's on it. And he stamps it down to their last three lives, you could say. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, he did not chase the off speed. That'll make it one and two now. Good pitch though from Skrubisky Bannock. Skrubisky Bannock will deliver. Another off speed, he gets a hold of that one. Roscoe almost makes the play. Nice attempt. And a nice base hit single for number 27. Anthony and Campo he will reach first base, and that will bring up number 16, Topher Reardon. He's over at first base today. For the Eagles. Skrish Panic takes a look. Here comes the pitch. Ball outside. 1 0 count. Yeah, base hit, deep left field, and Wide Eads will make the catch for out number one. That'll bring up number three, Bailey Davis. See if Davis can get on, and on first. 
Topher Reardon takes a bit of a lead. And he, Skabisky Manic throws it over to him. Checks on him there. Max looks over. He'll deliver. Grounder over to second base and he'll throw it out of second. So. It'll be, that'll be out number two, fielder's choice. So two outs here in the bottom, uh, top of the seventh inning, excuse me. And that will bring up number 11, uh, Ethan Mullally. Here comes the pitch. Called strike one. Here comes the pitch. Grounder down the third baseline will go foul. 0-2 count. So one more good pitch and Frontier will win it. Here comes the pitch. Ball outside, one and two now. <laughs> the bench said he's due for it. All right, here comes the pitch. Grounder over shortstop. Palmer will field it, throws it over one, and he'll be safe. And uh, he'll go out of play, so second and third. We thought the game was over there, but well, that'll bring up number one, Jake Kostek, with two runners in scoring position with two outs. Base hit could score two here. Here comes the pitch. And ball one in the dirt. <laughs> One and no count. Chris Granick checks on the runner at third, and he'll deliver. Gets a hold of a deep left field, and Wyatt Eads will make the catch to end the game. You're watching Frontier. Well, Frontier played well. It's 9-1. to one. They'll win it at home, and we will cover the next one very shortly. Um... And uh, we'd like to quickly thank our sponsors, Albert Hearing Services. They're located at 33 Dell Street in Greenfield, Massachusetts. You can give my mom a call at 413-774-0100. Again, 413-774-0100 or visit alberthearing.com. We're also sponsored by Gilmore Farrell Insurance. They uh, specialize in personal and commercial insurance. Um, and we also are sponsored by Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Connections Television. We will see you guys next time. Again, final time, Tom Albert, Ben Roberts, and Marie Thomas. Uh, thank you for watching.